Good morning and welcome to Timeline Broadcast. I'm Risha. And I'm Brittany. Congratulations, you made it through Assessment Day. We continue celebrating Black History Month today at 1 p.m. in the Great Hall. There will be jazz, desserts, and a special monologue focusing on important figures in Black history. Don't miss this event. And next Thursday, February 25th, Dr. James Payne will speak in chapel and will also be in the perk at 1 p.m. to chat with students. MBU's Interpersonal Violence Awareness Week is underway. Tomorrow, there will be a presentation about the signs of abuse at 10 a.m. in the Performance Hall. Also, tomorrow is Wear Your Ribbon Day. The Spring Media Talk is coming next week. St. Louis Police Chief Sam Dotson will be on campus from noon to 1 p.m. to answer questions from student interviewers and the audience. Graduating seniors are counting the days until May 3rd. This week, the Senior Salute brought the reality of graduation even closer. Seniors picked up their caps and gowns and double-checked that all requirements were done and they are ready to graduate. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2016. The annual Heart and Arts Seminar begins today. Here's information about the seminar. Hi, my name is Dr. Blackman. I'm the Worship Arts Director here at MBU. I'm excited to tell you about this year's Worship Heart and Arts Seminar. It's today and tomorrow in the Chapel Fine Arts Building, and it's going to feature Izzy Bongo and Pastor Kerry Tillman. If you'd like to register, text your student ID to 744-9144. That's 314-744-9144. Here's Nate with this week's sports. Thanks, Risha. As a university, we strive for excellence in everything we do. This last week of sports far exceeds excellence, and many of our teams are stepping up to greatness. Last week was monumental for several teams and their players. However, this week's Team of the Week honor goes to the men's basketball team. They played two road games last week. The first matchup was against Park University, where they shot their way to 71 points, but their defense gave up 85 and they lost. It was a different story when the Spartans marched into Columbia, Missouri to face the number five ranked Cougars. Their defense matched their offense and the Spartans stunned Columbia College on their home court, coming away with a huge conference upset to boost them into the next week of play. The men will be traveling to take on St. Louis College of Pharmacy tonight for another conference game. This Saturday, they will be protecting our home court as Harris Stowe State University comes to town. Let's show them why the Spartan Wall is the best student section in NAIA. Come out and support our guys. Tip off is set for 4 p.m. this Saturday. Good luck, guys. Still boasting a perfect 11-0 record, the men's volleyball team is off to a strong start, and they're looking to stay hot as they get into the heart of the season. They played Quincy University. Although they struggled early losing the first set, they quickly kicked it into high gear, convincingly beating Quincy in the next three sets. Mito Yanisiewicz led the way racking up 23 kills. That performance alone not only earned his team a win against a tough opponent, but also gave him the honor of being NAIA Men's Volleyball Player of the Week. Congratulations, Micho. The men's and women's track and field teams traveled to Indiana last weekend where they competed against several D1 schools. That did not stop the 4x4 women's relay team of Aaliyah Reams, Faith Reynolds, Ashley Tate, and Casey Tripp from speeding their way to a third place finish. For a second consecutive week, Aaliyah Reams was named NAIA Track Athlete of the Week. She placed ninth against 23 other runners in a field with several Division I schools. Way to go, ladies. While there was no score kept, individually the men held their own as well. Cameron Hampton finished 7th in the 200 meter dash out of 19 other runners. Newcomers Tremaine Bobo and Richard James continued to make their mark as they both placed high in their events. Both teams will be competing in the conference championship meet this weekend. Best of luck to both teams. Keep grinding Spartans. It's become a tradition here at MBU to be the best and that certainly showed this week. Here are Timeline's top three players of the week. Here's the women's basketball team. That's a way to be Spartan strong. Next is the men's basketball team. Now this is the number one play. Look at that athleticism.
It's been a great week, and we can't wait to see what you guys do next. For Timeline Sports, I'm Nate. Stay Spartan strong. Thanks, Nate. For Timeline, I'm Brittany. And I'm Risha. Go Spartans.